This video demonstrates how to synchronize your online team calendar with MadPuck. And I've created this sample team called Calendar Sync. And you'll notice that the schedule here is empty. So I'm going to choose the More tab from the bottom right and then choose the Calendar Sync item. And then you would have retrieved uh, the calendar feed from your team website. And you're going to want to put that into the Calendar Sync URL location. Now the, the, the calendar feed, I've created uh, some videos for how to retrieve that and where you get that from on your team website. So check out the Calendar Sync playlist in the MadPuck YouTube channel. And MadPuck supports uh, currently seven different online team calendars, um, possibly more when you're watching this. So check out the description for the list of supported calendars. Uh, but the current ones are MB Sports Web, Ramp, Team Snap, Sports Engine, League Athletics, Team Linked, and Home Teams Online. And so once you've got the calendar sync URL entered, you're also going to confirm your team time zone is, is correct. So we're going to choose Eastern for ours. And then you're going to turn on calendar sync. And then once you hit save, it'll do an initial sync for your team. Now before we hit save, Let's take a look at some of the other options available on the screen. If we scroll down to the very bottom, you can see the calendar link for fans. So you can copy this link and send that to your parents and players, and then they can put that into their personal calendars like Google, Microsoft, or Apple calendars. And then that will show up um, in, their, in their calendar along with all the other, their other personal, um, personal events and maybe uh, events from other uh, teams that they have and that they follow. And so you'll notice that that link is actually the same link as the one that you put into the calendar sync feature at the top. And so what's actually happening there is that the, uh, the online team calendar or the team website is hosting that uh, calendar feed and it's being synced to MadPuck, but it's also being synced to their calendars as well. Now, if you're an admin or a coach and you come into this screen, you're gonna have the ability to, to turn on calendar sync and turn on calendar export. Um, but for any other role, like a parent or a player, they're only going to see this bottom section, this calendar link for fans. So they can, uh, they can copy that themselves and put it into their calendar, or maybe they've, um, you've already sent it to them um, ahead of time when you enabled this feature. The last feature to discuss on this screen is the calendar export feature. So you would turn on this feature if you don't have an online team calendar, or if you do have an online team calendar, but you're also adding events directly to MadPuck, so for example, maybe you have an unsanctioned event or a team building event that you don't want to publish to your online calendar, or you don't want to bother your scheduler, or your scheduler is taking a long time to add events, in that case, you're adding it directly to MadPuck, and then your online schedule isn't uh, completely accurate. What you need is a combination of your online schedule plus your MadPuck schedule, and that's what Calendar Export does. So if you turn that on, uh, you'll notice at the bottom of the screen now, the link is different from your online team calendar. And now this feed is one that combines your online team calendar and the extra things you've added to MadPuck into a single feed that's hosted by MadPuck. And that is the link that you'll wanna provide to your fans, and that's the link that when your fans come in here, they'll see, they'll wanna copy that link and put that into their personal calendars to get that combination of online plus MadPuck events in one single feed. For now, let's turn off the calendar export feature and the link at the bottom returns to the same as the link for the calendar sync. And now we're gonna hit save and we're gonna quickly switch over to the schedule screen and we should see the schedule come in quite quickly, and it did. And so there's the feed, and you'll notice that some things are still updating, um, but this feed should come in within uh, about 10 seconds and be accurate um, within, that, within that time. So this one, this team's got a lot of events that it's scheduled, so that it's synchronizing here. And so that's the uh, calendar sync feature. Oh, the other thing I should mention is the, uh, the calendar sync feature uh, synchronizes events from your online team calendar down to MadPuck, 
uh, five times a day at 6 a.m., 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 6 p.m., and 10 p.m. And so if something's added to your online team calendar, uh, it won't appear until after one of those times where the synchronization occurs. Um, the, the times will actually vary a little bit based on how quickly the online team calendar is updated. So just because you add an event to the online team calendar doesn't necessarily mean it's available in their calendar feed right away. So once it's available in their calendar feed and the MADPUCK synchronization occurs, then your, your schedule will be updated within MADPUCK. That typically happens fairly quickly, um, so it's not, not typically a concern. Now, you will, you will also get a notification into your, uh, onto your device that indicates what the changes, uh, any changes that were made. So for example, if there is a time change or an opponent change, you'll get a notification for that on your phone and as, as will all of your fans. That's it for this video. Um, hope that you can correctly set up uh, calendar sync and we'll see you at the rink.